Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Warsword Conquest, a Goblin Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just captured Death Gorge Fort, a very hard-won battle indeed. And we have now come across a battle as I was on my way to Kemri to check for a potential ransom broker and or maybe a new companion. That would be rather excellent, to say the least, so that we can finally get a good minister. And maybe we can get some additional staff hired as well. That would be rather nice. But as you see here, we have come across a battle between Chief Shackwipes and Lord Hiwan. And we are going to be rushing to the aid of the Tomb Lord here. Now, as you can probably see, yeah, they don't have too many units. But I thought I would cut here because I thought to myself, well, that would be a good opportunity to level up some of our... Oh, I was about to say lower level orcs, but... Yes, Oggy Boggy does look like quite a low-level orc, does he not? So yes, maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe try to get him some better armor. But yes, I did travel a little bit to the orc lands. I was avoiding some night goblin armies as well. For some reason, they do like to attack us quite a bit. But thankfully enough, I was able to avoid some of them. And I was able to get a couple of recruited orcs. As one of you did actually state that we were low on infantry. And we had quite a lot of of ranged units so I am attempting to correct that as much as possible and one of you did also ask to see the stats of the Necropolis Knights so I am going to be showing that as soon as I can just after this battle I do believe I will show it I would like to take this guy out though Okay, never mind. Goblin Warchief, everyone. It appears that they are quite powerful. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I was not expecting to get taken out in such a small skirmish, but I suppose, thankfully enough, I did tell all of our units to charge in, so we don't need to worry about them finishing up, and indeed, getting the experience they require to become even stronger. They are the main reason, I do believe, that we were able to even succeed at that previous battle. And indeed... That previous siege as well. So yes, we have quite a lot of Necropolis Knights running around here. Thankfully enough, our ally here also has quite a lot of them. So not too bad. We did lose what? Oh wow. We actually lost some Spider Riders, Skeleton Knights, and two Borders. Well, not too bad I suppose. But yes, a little bit grievous those casualties. A little bit too much for my liking, but he was able to escape. Whoa, there's actually two vassals there. I did not realize I thought there was only one. Okay, well... No problem there. We were able to level up these orcs, as you can see here. We're going to be making those into infantry, and we're going to get some more marksmen as well for those pirates. Now let's level up some more buccaneers here. Master of Arrows. Yes, I do see what you mean, actually. We do have quite a few. Yeah, oh, no. Quite a few ranged units. So let's take a look. Necropolis Knights. Let's take a look at their stats. As you can see here. Oh my goodness. So yes, as you see, their health is the main reason why I would assume they are very, very deadly, because you think you've taken them out, but lo and behold, they just keep on coming. They keep on taking you down, they keep on whittling you away, and indeed, some of the case, that is really not going to happen. They're not going to whittle you at all, they're just going to hit you, and you're going to die immediately, because of their 32 strength as well. Wow. That is pretty impressive. 300 in weapon proficiencies as well. I think that is obviously partially due to their damage as well. That is going to help them swing a lot faster. And yes, it's just dawned on me actually that I don't have any prisoners with me. So going to find a ransom broker would probably be a pretty unwise idea. So we're going to try to get these guys out here. And we will make our way to Kemri. As you see, we are rather low in terms of our wages at the moment. We don't have a very good stockpile of money, so it would be really nice if we could find... Yeah, we do have a Ransom Broker here, but we don't have a companion. No! Okay, well, Ransom Broker is going to have to be good enough. And let's see, 60 for those. 140, 96, ooh, really not very good. 192, those last two were very nice, but everything else was not great, I have to admit. Do we have any prisoners in Death Gorge Fort? I don't believe so. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, I suppose what we can do is we can try to take this guy out. He does have two trolls. We would have a very good opportunity to take them prisoner. I'm just wondering whether we are fast enough. Nope, he is actually 
one whole speed faster than us. I don't believe we are even going to get close. Oh! Maybe we are now, but we're rushing to the aid of a caravan. That's not really something I want to do, but I suppose we could. That is going to give our newly acquired Orc infantry quite a bit of experience, I hope. But yes, there's only 22 of them. We have 85 on the battlefield at the moment. That reminds me, I do need to level up our tactic skill a little bit as well. I do believe our tactic skill requires a little bit of buffering, because that will then give us a nice boost in how many units we can squeeze onto the battlefield and that will then in turn reduce the amount of units that the enemy can field which is something we definitely want so let's try some archery here i am unsure whether this is actually going to hit at all i think i might be hitting oh whoa i actually got a headshot okay i was able to get a headshot on one of the trolls i think that's actually not too bad i suppose well is it? <laughs> Maybe it is. Well, never mind. We are completely fine. Let's just... Oh, no. No, don't take me out, spiders. Oh, uh, we're fine. We are losing quite a few of our units, but hopefully that is mainly the... <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Mainly the caravan losing their units. That is for sure. Maybe should not have taken on the troll. That was probably a bad idea. Let us just hope that we are able to knock the troll unconscious. I'm hoping that our hammerers are going to get in there and do as much damage as they can. Hopefully knock them unconscious. Maybe. One of the trolls was already killed, so I am crossing my fingers here. Ah, unfortunate. One of the caravan, I do believe, one of the caravan's units was able to take out that troll there. Ah, well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Well, I suppose what can you do? We are taking out a vassal and having the potential to take him prisoner. I am hopeful that that is going to be the case at least, but look at the battlefield. It is absolutely strewn with many corpses, including our own, which is never a good thing. So, let's see. We lost a tomb champion, veteran black orc, and a skeleton horse archer. Our allies lost more than that, of course, but I don't believe they lost too many in terms... Ah! Yes, he escaped. Too many in terms of high-tier units. But we are able to get a Spider Rider War Chief, which I would assume is going to sell for quite a lot. So, hmm. Maybe we could head on to Kemri and sell that fellow, and then we could do our business elsewhere. Such as going to intercept the fellow that is currently raiding Red Shields. 253 for that fellow as well. That is very good. As you see here, oh, Red Shields was actually just looted. Okay, so I will not be able to get there in time, unfortunately enough. I was really hoping we would be able to, but what can you do? You can't be everywhere at once, and that brings me to the other point that I would like to make. I am not entirely sure whether we should make Joseph a vassal, because we currently do not have any support on the field whatsoever, and I can assume that that is going to be very detrimental down the line, but, as you know, if we do that, then we do not have him helping us build the ladders. He does have seven in engineering, I think, so having that seven in engineering not there anymore is vitally, vitally deficient to, to our own cause. So I'm really hopeful that... Oh! That's not good. Oh dear. Did you see that? The Badland Goblins and the Tomb King Empire have made peace. That is not good. That means the campaign of the Goblins is going to be knocking on our door any minute now. Oh my. That is not good. That is seriously not good. Okay. Well, the good thing is that you told me the barracks recruits units two times or shall we say twice a week, which is excellent. So I'm hopeful that because we are not losing any money now, thanks to Volchaz and Death Gorge Fort's wages, as well as their rents, we are in a good spot. Are we in a good spot? I think we are. I think if we are able to take more units prisoner, then I think we'll have a very good chance. So let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, are we fully rejuvenated? Almost. I think that's good enough. So, level up these guys here. And then, I am unsure where we should go next. 
Okay, well, we'll get some hammerers there. Okay, so now, what I could do is we could go looting, but unfortunately I don't really have that much space, but I could swap things, I suppose, but... Hmm... I don't really want to loot the faction of anyone else. Oh, actually, the Kingdom of Araby, for some reason, is suspicious with us at the moment, so I'm not entirely sure why that is, but we could head over there. That is quite far away, however, and... Their villages are currently being looted over and over by the Tomb Kings. So we could head over there, because they are currently suspicious. But I suppose even if we did do that, then they would cause all-out war against us. And that would definitely not be a good idea. But, oh my, quite a difficult position we are in at the moment. Hmm. Okay, medium-sized group of enemies near Death Gorge Fort. So it's a good idea I'm heading over here. A goblin warband, is that actually all they have? Hmm, that might actually be a good idea. Wait a minute. There's also that fellow, but he has no prisoners. This guy has a giant slayer, a slayer, and various other things, such as dwarf engineers and so forth. So, let's see. 4.7, 4.8, okay. Let us pursue him, and maybe get a vassal at the same time. Ah, it appears that I'm not lucky enough to do that. Oh well, that is fine. We can do some battles here. Now, we are doing this, of course, for the potential of rescuing these prisoners. They are going to be garrisoning our defenses at our various fiefs. And I do believe that is a better idea than potentially trying to raid a village. I think because we are eventually going to be owning these villages, it would be a good idea potentially not to raid them and make them upset with us because then of course we are going to be having difficulties recruiting any goblin units from them so hmm it is a difficult position i have to admit so let's see here what can we do should we just charge in our infantry i think we will why not why is this guy in infantry by the way he has a pistol and why are all of my units charging in that direction wait a minute is there actually someone around here? Oh, yes, it was a mounted unit. Oh, I was a little worried there for a second. I actually thought that they were bugging out in some way, but... Oh, my. Should have known a little better there, perhaps. Okay, come on. Take that guy out. Thank you. Okay, come on. No. Yes. When do you ever see a fanatic blocking? I am not upholding my father's ideals, it appears. Oh, no. That's not a good idea. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Charge straight on. And take him out. There we go. Okay, so we don't, I believe, have any losses from this particular... Oh, we lost one orc. That is particularly fine. That is actually very nice. And we can now take all of these. Excellent. So these guys are going to be bolstering our numbers. And hopefully we'll be able to take on more of the enemy's vassals as a result. I'm actually thinking in the next episode of Warsword Conquest, we are in my opinion, going to be able to take another fief. Because, of course, I will have leveled up most of these orcs by then as well. We have our first black orc once again. Level up those guys. Now, let's see. Iron breakers, I believe, are the fellows... Oh, no, they don't have shields. And slayers don't have shields either? I don't believe they do. Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's go for another Iron Breaker then, considering we don't have too many of those. And we'll go for our first Sharpshooter. This guy is going to be impressive. Very impressive. And I think we're probably going to be raiding a village. Hmm. That is definitely something I didn't want to do, as I explained previously. Hmm. Okay. Well... Let's see. Let's just see if anything actually attacks us, because if someone is attempting to besiege one of our fiefs here, then I think we have a good chance of being able to take them out and hopefully get a little bit of money in exchange. As you see here, we're only getting 119 gold from selling that particular cleaver. However, please be the ransom broker. Oh, no. The ransom broker has moved on. And this time, we have a troll. Ah. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So, where is the closest town? We could go to Zandri. I do believe Zandri has usually got a ransom broker stationed there. So let's hope. If not, then I'm not going to be able to level up. And that's going to be sorely unfortunate. Oh no. Come on. Let's make our way over there, please. 
Yes, there we go. That is excellent. So please be a ransom broker. No, it appears no ransom brokers here. Unfortunate. Well, there is a tournament going on at Zandri. Should we do the tournament? Hmm, we don't have any gold to actually wager, so doing a tournament is slightly pointless, I think. Okay, okay. We'll go to Kasabar instead. Oh, yes, this is grinding my gears right now. I'm not entirely sure what we can do to gain some money quickly apart from raiding a village and indeed selling prisoners, and I'm attempting to find a ransom broker as we speak. So, let's just hope that he is here. Oh my. Okay, no ransom broker here. So I am going to be cutting away. We're going to try and find one, maybe at the Pirate King Fortress? Yeah, I can only hope that that will be the case. So yes, I will see you there. Okay, so I finally found a ransom broker, and you won't believe where it was, but in the Dwarven Kingdom. So I had to head over to the Orcish Kingdom, and then I found the very closest town to the Orcs, and thankfully enough, this is where the ransom broker was. He was not at the Pirate Kingdom, however, I did find a goblin companion, which would have absolutely been amazing, however... He wanted 2,000 gold, of course, so we were not able to recruit him, which was so utterly disappointing. But at least now we have found this fellow, and we can sell some of our prisoners here. Oh, yes, lovely. Very nice indeed to sell that troll there. And there we go. A very nice profit indeed. And I will now be making my way back to Goblin Territory. Okay, so we have arrived back here at Volchez Fort, and as you see here, we have a rather amusing development. We have a goblin warband that is being pursued by one of the dwarves, and I think we are going to make good use of this and actually take advantage of the situation by rescuing these prisoners if we so desire. Let us hope that we are able to at least, because they do have some giant slayers, they have some regular slayers as well. And I do believe that Dwarf units will work very well under the command of Joseph Bugman himself, which is excellent. So, let's see here. We have the Dwarven Vassal's units just charging straight on here. My own units are just standing here. Interesting. Okay, well, they do have 73 on the battlefield. I don't really want to send our units in there because I don't really want to lose anyone. So, let's just hope that we can... Whoa, okay. Take this guy out very easily indeed. Whoa, that was quick. Well, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> Not too bad. And I suppose, considering we do have a couple of Dwarven units ourselves, that we'll be able to very easily deal with these guys. Now, oh my goodness, I'm actually seeing something that we do not have yet, or... I'm not sure whether we will ever have it, but Demon Slayers, or Daemon Slayers, as you can see in the text log just a little bit above there... They were actually killing things. Wait a minute. Where are those demon slayers? Can I actually see them? There they are! Oh my. That must be what the giant slayers become after they level up, perhaps. That must be it, surely. But as you can see here, we have a huge amount of prisoners. Excellent. We are building up our army. I do believe this is going to be one of those progression episodes where we don't get too much done in terms of territory gain, but we get a lot done in terms of being able to gain a lot of units. And as a result, set up quite nicely for times to come. Very nice indeed. So, we have 67 there. I'm hoping we'll see another gain very, very soon. But, as it stands, it doesn't seem as though the goblins are really wanting to attack us. So, I can only assume that they are at war against someone else. Which is rather strange, considering I do believe they made peace with the dwarves as well as the tomb kings. So, I'm not too sure what they are actually doing at the moment. But, I think what we could do which would be a little sneaky, but we are a goblin after all, so I suppose we should embody their traits. And that is, of course, to scout out Bloodhorn. That is my next target, if at all possible. I would love to be able to take this. And as we can see here, we do have another vassal exiting from Bloodhorn immediately. Hmm, they are actually very impressive defenders, or are they? 
It appears they are. 405 units. They have 25 trolls. Don't think we're going to be able to do this with our current army, but... Should we try and take these guys on? No, that's a bad idea, isn't it? If ever I saw one. Isn't that a bad idea? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll leave it up to you in the comments. Should we attack these guys in the next episode? And if so, let me know in the comments. Oh my goodness, this is probably going to be okay because they have, let's see, 12 trolls total. Which is definitely something I'm not too pleased about seeing. But everything else, apart from the chief's bodyguards, maybe the goblin war chiefs, and the spider riders, and probably the forest walkers, and the janissaries, and the trolls. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> maybe this would be a good idea. Maybe it wouldn't. Because if we are able to defeat this guy, then we will be able to have, well, should we say free reign of the surrounding territory. And we might just be able to take... Crooked Fang Fort, maybe even be able to take this. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.